Hi guys, thank you for watching. Welcome to my channel. My name is Tom and this is Good Morning Tom. Um, so I've just been hanging around at the house, just living in my cozy sweater and um, I have been reading. I've been reading one poetry book that I want to talk about and I've bought a diary last week in Amsterdam, which I want to show you. You might want to check that one out as well. Um, let's start with the diary. Um, so the year's almost coming to an end. I spent the year with this poetry diary and, um, well, this one has to go. Um, anyway, I'm going to keep it, of course, but well, I needed a new one. As you may know, I love poetry, so I have bought this new Faber and Faber poetry collection, uh, the Liberty Faber uh, poetry diary. It has this sticker on the back. Yeah, well, which says, the Faber poetry list originally founded in the 1920s was shaped by the taste of T.S. Eliot, who was its guiding light for nearly 40 years. Each passing decade has seen it grown uh, has seen it grow with the addition of poets who are arguably the finest of their generation. The Liberty Faber Poetry Diary is a, several, uh, is a celebration of this remarkable Faber list. And then there are all the, um, the poets that are included. But there are some very um, well-known poets included. Um, Emily Dickinson, um, Philip Lark, Philip Larkin, Sylvia Plath, uh, well, there was uh, Edward Thomas, Stevie Smith, a lot of, lot of very well-known poets. Um, and then there are some new poets, which may be interesting. I have to be honest, I have already started reading the poems in here, because last time I had the diary, I just... I left it at work, I didn't have time to read the poems, so, uh, so I wanted to read um, these poems at home. So if you look at the design, it looks like this, so it pretty much looks like this on every page. There's a poem and then there's the week. Sometimes there's a front cover of a book instead of a poem, for instance, like here. Um, well, for me, enough space to write. Um, so I can pull the sticker off right now, and then you can see what it looks like. This is the front cover, which is a beautiful hard cover. And this is the back. Of course, you can take that like this. I don't know if you're interested, you might want to check that one out. Of course, I could not just buy a poetry diary. I also had to buy a book, so I bought this book, which is not new. It's from 1963. It's from Louise McNee. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. I think it's Louis McNee. Um, and it's this one. I'm reading it right now, as you can see at the bookmark. I'm halfway, I'm halfway. And so far, it did not feel outdated. I quite like the poems. There were two poems that I really liked. One of them is called Another Colt May, and the other one was After the Crash. Um, the last few lines of the poem. Then he looked up and marked the gigantic skills in the sky. The pen on the left, dead empty, and the pen on the right, dead empty. And knew in the dead, dead calm, it was too late to die. So that's that. Anyway, um, you might want to check that one out as well. So, this is my agenda for the new year, and I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, if you like poetry, if you like vinyl, I don't know, uh, you might want to subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you in another video, and I'm wishing you um, a lovely day or night. Thank you for watching.